so the second book is titled Sustaining Family Businesses, The Essentials. The idea was or is um, in the field of family businesses studies, which is what I've focused on in the last four years of my PhD studies, there are a lot of mis misconceptions about what is a family business, what, what is the role of family businesses within the global economy, how important are they, are they growing or are they decaying in nature, what matters to family business, how, dif how do they differ from what you know, people refer to as uh, non-family businesses. And, um, and, and how do you look at a family business and try to sustain it uh, due to its importance to economies? So there are a lot of misconceptions. And I wanted to produce a book that is academic in a sense. So it has a lot of academic backing, but is e easy for the normal, you know, uh, the normal average people to read through and enjoy reading. So I, uh, I thought, you know, a, a book like that, that can summarize a lot, scientific in, and academic in a sense, yet readable and easily readable to, the, to people would, would, would be useful. So this is why I produced this book. And what is the main misconception that we have? For example, give us an example. So, so um, I mean, family businesses existed before any form of economic, uh, economic systems existed. So um, they go back in history to the origins of, of how family uh, businesses have evolved. Um, their importance in world economy is, is substantial and continues to be substantial. You are talking about uh, GDP impact of more anywhere between 70 to 90 percent depending on the region. You are talking about employment impact anywhere between 50 and 60 percent of, of the world population, again, depending on the region. You are talking about um, you know, their role in the, in the top, you know, the, the, the Fortune 500 companies, I mean, they are growing in that sphere. So they've grown from being anywhere between 13 percent to, in, in 2005, to, to being more, more than 20 percent. In, uh, nowadays, and it's targeted to reach even 40% of the Fortune 500 companies. Those are family-owned businesses. So their uh, ro role in the g global economy continues to grow. And, and that should be seen as a positive thing because family businesses, albeit academically, are not proven to be very different than non-family businesses, but where a lot of discussion uh, or the obvious points that you could see uh, in real life about family businesses' impact is that they are a bit more emotional than, uh, than non-family businesses. And they are a bit more sticky to the economies they serve, more so than, than, than other businesses. Uh, employees tend to stay longer within family businesses, so um, they feel more safe and secure, and, and they see long-term uh, long-term employment within those family businesses. So uh, family businesses for the economies they serve are extremely important and they need to be seen as a, a pillar of, of those economies and their sustainability adds to the uh, resilience of the economies they are in. And hence, uh, and, and hence the importance of the subject and so on. Yeah. How do you see the involvement of family business in the UAE? Family businesses in the UAE and, and more so in the GCC, they, they assume more than uh, almost 90 percent of, of, of GDP and of, of private sector GDP or non-oil based GDP and almost the same as when it comes to employment. So um, they continue to be an extremely important element of the GCC economy. It, it goes back into history when it comes to trading and the element of trust and the family names and, and family reputation. And most of the big uh, operators in, the, in, in this region are actually family, fam, family uh, offices and family extensions. You would notice also within the GCC that the, uh, the hierarchy of the political and economic system are mixed uh, with family businesses. 
So uh, you cannot, you almost cannot separate them now. I mean, within the GCC uh, economic system, which is, um, I wouldn't be able to gauge whether it is a good thing or a bad thing, but it has served positively uh, the economies of the region and continue to serve positively. Sticky money, loyal money, money that sits regardless of uh, economic uh, turbulences or. Or, or macroeconomic uh, or macro uh, ecopolitic uh, issues, so uh, that serves the region quite quite well. W w where it is a bit uh, sad is that the sustainability of those family businesses, more so in this region, tend to be statistically lower than the global average. Uh, I think a lot of that has to do with the elements uh, of misunderstanding of Sharia law. Uh, elements to do with lack of succession, um, so so a lot of education has to happen uh, in order to encourage that and empower that. I think a lot of governments and more so the UAE government is, is trying to uh, to support those family businesses with with, with more initiatives, uh, special treatment occasionally, and and lately they've introduced uh, laws and regulations to help with. Uh, with sorting out uh, family uh, disputes and, and how to de deal with real estate, uh, issues of importance to family businesses. Adding to that also the role of uh, women or female in, uh, in leadership positions within family businesses. So it, it tends to be a bit lower than the global average within this region. Uh, albeit it's enhancing quite tremendously. And uh, you can see iconic figures now within family businesses within the region whereby uh, are led by family, by, by females, and, and, and it is, again, an element of education and an element of uh, um, social, sh social awareness of, of, of female or women empowerment, which is extremely important. So um, there are many, a few others that I'm tackling within, within the book, but all in all, I think we are in a, in a positive trajectory. More education has to happen and more empowerment needs to happen. And what is going to be your key message on stage during your fireside chat during the conference? What would you like to share with the audience? I'd like to share with the audience a few elements pertaining uh, pertaining uh, family businesses in general, how important it is to communicate amongst family businesses, agree on uh, a vision and a mission for, for family businesses to, to move forward the importance of not only dealing with um, with family businesses um, from the perspective of pure economic output, the element of emotion, the element of well-being has to, to come into play. I'd like to also again emphasize the importance of empowering uh, women, uh, giving them the space, the right to, to pursue a, a career within family businesses if they opted to. And, and, and hence uh, adding more to the efficiency of the economy. So, so what, my, my key message is that a more efficient family business, a more harmonized with strong vision, adds to the efficiency and the resilience of the economies we serve. So, so there we're, we're the gist of this uh, sits. And, and as you might know and remember, I am a, a, a keen passionate about well-being, mm -hmm. the importance of educating the next generation or the family on being in a good state of well-being, emotional well-being. Uh, raising wealth, contributing to the economies are extremely important. Doing that within a, a healthy uh, well-being status of the family and the individuals within the family uh, makes it more sustainable and adds to the quality of life uh, of that uh, I would call nucleus of, of society, the family. Uh, and, and hence those, those are very key and, and important messages close to my heart and I occasionally like to share them with the, with, with the wider audience. Mm -hmm.